Hello, welcome back to Cooking, Crafting, and Gardening with Margaret and Mia. Today, um, Mia and Ashley are finishing up their cups, mugs, and tumblers. I'm not sure which ones y'all are doing. Tumblers? Mm -hmm. Tumblers. But the first thing we want you to do is like and subscribe to our channel. Ashley, do you want to talk about your process and what you're doing now? Yes. All right, so um, on the last video that we did, um, I epoxied my cup and I glittered it. So now the epoxy has dried and I, I um, early, after it dried, I put a clear coat enamel on it. That way I can work with the cup and, and the glitter doesn't get everywhere. So that's, um, that is important. I woke up early this morning and sprayed a clear coat enamel on it so the glitter won't move. Now what I'm going to do at the bottom, and actually you're kind of, it's really shiny, but at the bottom of my cup, I'm going to do like a leopard cheetah spot on the bottom of my cup. So I've already gotten started. And then what I'm going to do, I still have to finish. And I'm going to take you through the process of showing you how to do that. Okay. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is... Um, <coughs> to uh, put the spots on, I'm going to use Mod Podge. So this is the kind that I have. Um, and I just put a little bit in a plate here and I'm just using a brush, a brush. And I'm going to put the spots on. And when you put the spots on, I mean, hey, you don't Ashley, what type of brush is that? Is it just a regular brush to paint with or Yes, um, I'm really not sure. It's not a chip brush. It's not the type of brush that I use whenever I use my alcohol ink. This actually almost looks like a brush that you would put eyeshadow on with. Okay. Um, it's a real fine um, brush. It, I think it actually came with a makeup kit that I have, but just don't use. But I was like, oh, it's a small brush. I can use it. So I'm just making the spots. You're going to make them whatever shape you want to make them. Um, you know, don't make them all the same size. Um, don't make them perfect circles. Um, the one thing that I do like to do is make sure that I take some of my spots and I make them go on the bottom of my cup. Um, what color are you using? I can't tell. I am using, the cup is actually brown. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I, I can tell it's brown. I can't tell the um, color of the spots. So the spots are going to be gold. The okay. spots are going to be gold. And after the, the gold spots dry, mm -hmm. then I'm going to actually come back and dust them off. And then I'm going to line them with black glitter. So okay. it'll really look like spots. So I'm, again, just putting this, um, actually I'll go ahead and glitter this one, but I've got a few spots on, um, and I mean, trying to make it look, I mean, you don't want it to look too uniform. You want it to kind of be all over the place. So now what I'm going to do, I've got my gold glitter in the cup. I'm over a white sheet of paper and I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter on. Um, and once I sprinkle it on, I will tap the cup, you know, to try to get the excess glitter off. So I'm just kind of tapping it. And as you see, well, I don't know if you can see the spots, there's still a lot of glitter on my cup, but once the spots dry, I'll come back with, this is almost like a blush brush and I'll mm -hmm. sweep the excess off. I'll sweep the excess. So I'll do that, but usually I'll just wait until it dries, but it comes off very, very easy. Um, but I'm going to continue to put these spots on while, um, we check out what Mia's doing right now. Hey Mia, you're muted. The Thank last you. time that we uh, met, I was working on my um, cup that has a wood grain finish. Um, and this is how it looks. 
and I was working on another cup um, and this is how it looks now. This one is actually further along. Um, I've already put the epoxy and glitter on the cup. Um, so today I am going to add vinyl. I printed out my vinyl letters on my Cricut. Um, and the wood grain finish cup is for my husband and he wants me to put psych psycholo psychologist. Uh, which is a play on the word uh, psych psychologist, but it's for a cyclist. Um, and so I have that for his cup and I also have a bicycle. So that's what I'm, I'm going to put the letters on his cup and then I'm going to put the epoxy on. Oh, I can't wait to see um, the finished product for both of you guys' cups. Thank you. So I've already um, mixed my epoxy resin. Um, and as Ashley told us yesterday, you have two different types. You have the epoxy resin um, crystal clear A and then epoxy hardener crystal clear B. And you have to put in equal amounts of both of them. So I've already done that uh, in my mixer and I've already heated it for a few seconds just to get out the air bubbles. Okay. So once I put the acrylic letters on the, the um, tumbler, then I will be ready to go. Okay. So it's a pretty long process. How long does it typically take um, if we weren't taping just actual time, if you were just doing it and we weren't getting together, how long would it take to complete the um, tumblers? Um, I Actually, it, it's a long process start to finish, but actually sit down time working, that's not a long process. Um, I would say like if from start to finish, like if you diligently worked on it every single day, maybe three to four days. Okay. Because of all of the drying time. Because of all the drying time. And then like if you, you know, like when I sprayed the clear coat on it this morning, that literally took me... 10 seconds to spray the clear coat, but then I had to wait for the clear, the clear enamel uh, to dry. Okay. But it's, it's really fun. And I'm glad that Ashley introduced me to this um, because it's fun um, and it's, it's complicated, but if you mess up, you can actually redo it. Um, just as yesterday, I thought that that cup was not salvageable. Uh, but I was able to add glitter and add epoxy, and I actually like it. So now I am just putting the vinyl letters on the tumbler. Now, Mia, do you do a special method when you put the letters on, or well, I, I have. Them? Well, I have transfer tape, which the transfer tape makes it a lot easier. And I think I am going to go ahead and get my transfer tape so that it'll stay straight. Otherwise, it, it ends up crooked. So, Margaret, whenever you're doing these, it just it really depends on how meticulous you are. <laughs> Um, you know, if you're not too meticulous and again, and you see it as art, it's real easy to do. And, you know, but if you're, you know, a little bit OCD and things got to be straight, it does take a, a little bit more time, um, to do it. I actually hate putting decals on because I feel like I can never get them straight <laughs> and then it bothers. And I, and I thought it was just me, but um, the Cricut must not print the letters straight because even, <laughs> even when you use the um, transfer tape and you just get it straight off the Cricut and you put it on the cup, it's still, to me, it, it looks a little bit off. Well, so um, the Cricut does print it straight, but Mia, your cup is a circle. So <laughs> is that the difference? When you wrap it around, it's going to start to go. Um, oh, okay. So that's why it doesn't look straight. Right. 
So what I have learned to do is make sure I have nice short little sayings, you know, something that doesn't wrap all the way around the cup. Oh, um, that's a good idea. So, and again, the more cups that you make, you learn these things, um, you know, um, and I learned that actually, I learned that by doing a cup for you, Mia, that Louis Vuitton cup that I did for you. Mm -hmm. It was hard for me to line those, um, you know, those Louis Vuitton symbols up. So that's why I had to put the break in the middle and put your name. Oh, uh, okay. So you can oh, learn to so wrap it around. You, so you actually print that all on one sheet and then you wrap it around the cup? Yeah, and it was hard to get it to line up because if you wrap it around a circular cup, it's going to have a tendency to start going up. Oh, okay. That's good to know. I was going to so, ask you about that. I would love to have a tutorial on the Louis Vuitton cup. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> that was that was not an easy cup. Okay. Do you uh, is there a cricket? Um, did you find a pattern in the cricket community or? Um, well, actually, you know what? I'm glad you asked that question because I'm sure the people at home want to know. Um, one of the things that you guys can do at home is you can go to Etsy and you can look up um, SVGs. And you can okay. purchase SVG. So um, that was an SVG that I actually purchased. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, and then I'll have it. Like I have a whole bunch of Nike SVGs. I mean, we're kind of a sports family, so I can do Nike things. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can buy different SVGs. Um, like St. Patrick's Day is coming up. If you want to do a St. Patrick's um Day cup, you could probably purchase some different SVGs that are already done. Um, okay. That way, if you're if you're not creative, um, you know, with design like that, that's a, that's good to know. And they're actually pretty cheap. Like the Louis Vuitton one that I purchased, I think it was probably about two bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all. So how's it coming? Uh, I'm still at. I'm working on the, adding it to the transfer tape. Okay. Well, and what you guys can see at home is I've got my spots on and they don't really look like spots now, but what I will do is once this gold glitter dries, then I'll be able to kind of outline a little bit of the gold glitter in black, which is going to make it look more like a spot. Um, okay. So I guess so um, we can um, pause now and then reconvene later after we get the letters on and um, some more spots. Will that work for you? Can you reconvene in about 30 minutes? Yep. Okay. I can do that. All right. Well, we'll see you in 30 minutes. Thank you very right. much. It was good to see you.